I remember running up to that finish line and keep going. Yeah, the rain. Like I actually felt like you just felt like your shorts were nearly going to fall off. They were so weighed down with the rain. Your runners were heavy. It was just miserable. It was miserable. But and but yet I, with that weather and with no crowds, you got a PB that day. But I've been a PD, PB. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I done three fifteen. That's a Amsterdam. huge confidence boost. Yeah, I, yeah, no, it was miserable though. I rem- and I remember a past <laughs> guest of yours, Kevin English, was at the side, and he, I remember him shouting at me or saying, "Well, well done" or whatever. And I just looked at him, going like, "Oh, you know, all I wanted to do was just finish." I was like, "Just feck off! I just want to like, get across this line. Just leave me alone." I, it was miserable. It was miserable, but yeah, it was. And I, I remember crossing the line, and I sat down on the ground for about ten minutes. It was tough. Um. It was tough and it was hard earned. And I remember that's why I think when Peter said to me that year for October that you could do uh, three sub three, I was like, there's no way. How will I do a sub three? Because I was thinking back to how tough that 310 had been. But yeah, no, but it, but it was a lovely course. I did enjoy the course and everything. We'll, we'll move yeah. on from Martins in a second. But um, you talked about you did double Martin this year and you got a 259. And I died um, an absolute death. <laughs> what happened? You talked about um, banking on time in the first half oh, of Martin. Yeah. And oh, the I last guess. 4K was tough. Am I right in saying that? Yeah. Or maybe... I, oh, no. The last, oh, the last 4K uh, in Berlin was tough. Sorry. That's yeah, when no. you struggled. So in Berlin, uh, I had ran Berlin and... Um, the training had gone absolutely brilliant. Everything had gone great. But the 10 days out, so the Tuesday in the taper, 10 days before I had picked up an injury, bloody typical. I, it was the last speed session of the training block. And I remember, I think it was like five by a kilometre or repeats or something. And um, I remember running down the hill and just feeling my adductor, like I felt the inside of my leg was sore but I stupidly ran on finished the session and then did the warm down and in the warm down I was limping and I knew uh, oh shit this is 10 days before Berlin and um I went home and I drove home and I remember I could hardly get out of the car like I couldn't barely walk like my leg was in bits and hobbled in home and I said to Brian that's it that's Berlin gone I can't do it like I'm not gonna be able to run I could hardly walk and the next morning I was in absolute bits and so I did nothing the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and then the Friday night stupidly went out and tried to run on it again thinking yeah, I, I need to know if, still yeah, I need to know <laughs> if I can do this or not and um, I went out and I ran and um, was back to square one the Saturday morning and this was a week like we were flying I was flying out the next week the next it was a week and a day to Berlin Marathon and I was in absolute bits and so I tried everything I went and I bought every bucket of Epsom salts in the country I went to cryotherapy I went for physio I went for dry needling I did everything possible and I didn't run the whole week in the lead up to Berlin so that was the my last run had been Friday eight days out and I did absolutely nothing flew over not knowing was I going to be able to do this or not and on the, the day before Berlin marathon got there and I went and I said right I'm gonna have to see can I run and I did a three mile shakeout run and did three miles and, and strides and I, I could feel it like I knew that this was sore and so the morning of the marathon came and I <laughs> blessed myself I put on a whole tube of Valterol <laughs> gel and I took two norofin and I said right well hope, hope for the best like you know hopefully it'll, you know we'll see what's going to happen and Whatever happened, by some miracle, I did not feel my leg the whole way through that race. But I was conscious that it was there. And I think I felt when I finished, I suppose I, I, I was hoping for a 255. And I knew I had a 255 in me. And and I ran and my Garmin told me I had 255, 46 or whatever it was with the with the do you know the way the GPS can be out? Yeah. In. Yeah, yeah. So I, I crossed the line and then the, I, I remember going back to the bag drop and collecting my phone and the chip time come true. And I was like, oh no, 2.56.05. But I didn't realise. My watch had told me I had it. But I think I felt that whole race, I was holding back a little bit because I was afraid 
that the injury that I was afraid was my leg going to hold up and I, I didn't want to go the whole way over there and not finish it 